we're going to grab it out and have a look at what we're dealing with. It's got to be worth 12, 13,000. All my friends, when I told them about the business of a van serving alcohol and festivals and outside vending. I'm Craig, um, the owner and founder of Cafe Lambro. We started this journey back in 2016, coming to Italy, finding amazing products, amazing vehicles, combining the two and vending the products from the vintage vehicles that we find. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, where I find them, and all the friends and contacts I've made along the way who are eager to see what we're gonna buy. We're gonna buy some cool stuff today. We're going to a market. We're gonna to go to an old garage where there might be some bits and pieces that we might find. There's also uh, a vintage fair. We're gonna take you to the vintage fair. Traders will be starting to turn up today. So hopefully we might be able to see what's in the back of some of those vans. And in this garage, I've been given a tip off by a contact of mine that we're going to find something really special in this garage. And apparently it's been sat there for the last 20 years. Uh, we're just about to get picked up by the shuttle. We're going to go back to the hotel, drop off the bags, get settled, and we've got a busy day today. The itinerary is pretty tight. Um, the schedule, I should say, is pretty tight. We're going to hopefully possibly go to the market because some of the traders will be arriving today. It's Thursday. The market doesn't open until Saturday, but believe it or not, traders will be there today doing business in the car park. I'm going to try and show you some of that. And I've obviously got that, that little, hopefully, I've been informed that there's something hidden in the garage somewhere in the proximity of this airport. So we're gonna go and see what's in this garage and it's meant to have been there for 20 years. It's only time will tell. I'm looking forward to that and I'll show you it soon. It's Italian time, isn't it? I'm gonna see five minutes, 50 minutes. Finally made it. I'm not too sure this place is a legit hotel or whether it's a brothel. So what do you reckon, judging by the size of the mirror in the room? This guy, Pasquale, is a friend's friend. He's a VW collector. And when I said I wanted a specific VW, which you can only find in Italy, really, he said he knows where one is. I think we're all right. All right, so he's seen one of these. Let the boys take us, we'll show a bit of etiquette. This is what happens in Italy. This is why you find so many old bits. Everybody, even if you have an apartment, you have a little garage down below and they just tuck these things away and just forget about them. That's why only in Italy you can sort of get this kind of old vintage vehicles that are in such good condition because they're tucked away in nice garages, nice climate, no rain. This is, people talk about barn finds and whatever, finding stuff. This is genuine, like you can see it. I don't know these boys. They don't even know what garage is in. Okay, Boko, small, small, small. Well, it's, it's small, more small so for uh, negotiation. Jatabile is negotiation. Much money. Mo much more money, money. money man. <laughs> You'll be head to toe in Armani by the end of the night. Straight out of Compton. Dimmi, cosa vuole? Fai tu prima offerta. Io dico se va bene. Cinque mille. Poco di più, poco di più. Cinque mille. Contanti. <laughs> Money in the in the jacket. Arriva un poco di più 6000. 6000. 6000. 6000. 6000. Done. We've nicked it. Okay. It's stolen it. We better get out of it soon before they realize. Craig, my, my friend. That's it. <laughs> It'd be head to toe in Armani tomorrow. You watch.
this is 1974, I'd say. Uh, we can have a look at the tax disc. Usually you tell you that last registered in 1998. That's when it was last taxed. Um, I'd say it's uh, 1974, late bay, because the indicators came from low. They had low indicators before down here to high. Smaller little VW badge. This is an interesting thing. So in Italy, when you have a uh, commercial vehicle on the road for taxation, they made them all paint a red light line on it. I think that was in around mid 70s. So with a lot of the commercial vehicles, you get this red strap on it, which means they obviously pay a different rate of road tax and probably a higher rate of road tax. Um, it's clean, you know, it's original. It's original door cards, little air vents. I love those details. We find places like, uh, Alan Schofield, you've got numerous places. I like Alan Schofield, but I also like Custom Commercial. They do great um, parts that are virtually near enough on what, what they would have came out of the factory like. So reproduction parts, but really good quality reproduction parts. I love the original seats. These things are really hard to get. Um, obviously a little bit of a tear, but we'll live with that because the patina is great. The roof canvas, no splits. They always usually tear and split perfect it's a bit of dust in here it's a nice cleanup job mats are nice the under mats are nice we'll go around the other side have a look it's a lovely straight van and i'm really happy with it um he's saying that he's basically saying that the, it's old the battery's old so there's no point in trying to run the battery because the engine probably doesn't have any oil in it and then it will damage the engine is what pasquale's saying Bush pasquale's a nove olio Spark, spark plugs, spark. yeah, see, see. Well, I'm glad I've got this car and he's got that. <laughs> Allora, la festa, la festa, tutto posto.